Hi, it's Hal from Light with a quick video tip. Today we're going to talk about the instant polarizer inside of Lightroom and Adobe Camera Raw. This is a technique that you can use to simulate some of the effects you get when using a polarizing filter. A polarizer, when we put it in line with our optics, will help us reduce glare and reflection within a scene. We most often think of this if we want to look down into water or remove that glare or reflection on stone or foliage within the image itself. But another place we get a very interesting effect is up in the sky. In the atmosphere we have a lot of water vapor suspended and as the light hits these water molecules it's going to reflect off and there is a noticeable reflection. That reflection to us manifests as a lightening of the sky where things just get a little washed out. We know that that sky could be a really nice deep dark blue but because of the reflection and the scattering of light it ends up being a little more powdery and maybe not as intense as we'd like. This trick here is going to attempt to get the effect in the sky without actually having to use the polarizing filter. To do this we're going to start in Lightroom and I've taken a single segment in a, in a panorama shot overlooking Los Osos and Morro Bay my, by my wife Victoria and I want to take this and see if I can get that sky to appear as though a polarizing filter had been used. For that we're going to be in the develop module and I'm going to concentrate strictly on just this technique and not look at any of the other optimization workflow that I would use on this image. So to use the instant polarizer I'm going to grab up onto the HSL tab that's over in the right panel in the develop module and I'm going to start with saturation. Now typically skies are a blend of aqua and blue as they're broken down here inside of Lightroom and so what we want to do to make this technique work is take our aquas and blues and I'll give you what I'd call the medium setting. I'm going to push this up to about 20. Now if you find that it's a little challenging to do that the simplest way I think is just to click into that text box and type in 20. So we're going to add a little bit of extra saturation to those colors most commonly associated with the sky aqua and blue. To see what this has done I'll click on and off the before and after and we'll notice a slight saturation within the sky. We see the saturation some other places in the image because although this is kind of a targeted adjustment in the way I'm only affecting aquas and blues it is still universal so any place I've got those aqua and blue hues we're gonna see a saturation boost. To complete this effect though we want to go next to saturation and hit luminance and in luminance we'll go aquas and blues and take the exact same amount but put it on the negative side. So I'm going to take a minus 20 on the aqua and a minus 20 on the blues. So we've boosted saturation and we've slightly reduced the luminance values. In most cases when we slightly reduce the luminance value just a little bit we get a perception of increased saturation. So it seems like the sky is saturated more but not really. To see what we've done here we can just turn off that color adjustment using the small on off switch next to the HSL color and black and white tab we'll just click it on and off very similar to the effects we would get from using a polarizing filter. Now this is what I had said before a, a medium setting where I went about plus 20 and minus 20. There are some times this is going to be too much and other times it's not enough. So when you find that you want more we just take those numbers and maybe go from 20 up to 30. If we need less we'll go from 20 down to 10. You'll find that this is a pretty cool technique that you might use on a lot of different images. One of the beautiful things about Lightroom is that it's designed to be a preset based program where once we do something we find that it works we can save that as a preset and go back and execute it very easily. So just to show that process real quick on the, the instant polarizer medium setting what I would do is expand that left panel go to my preset tab and hit the small plus which will add a new preset. I'm going to give this a name of Insta Polarizer, and since there are different levels of this, I'm going to call it uh, Medium, because I know that's right there in, in the middle of where my typical range is, and I'll usually go in from about 10 to 30. I'm initially going to go down and, and check None, and really all that I want to use here are my color adjustments. So I'll just click color, saturation, vibrance, color adjustments. I can get rid of saturation and vibrance actually because those are part of my, my basic tab. Really here what I'm looking at are my HSL color adjustments. Once I hit create, I'll see that it has been added over to my presets and I have this available for me very, very easily. So I'll reset this image and just to show you how it works. I'll come over, insta polarizer medium, 
click and we get that real nice simple polarizing effect up in the sky. That's the Lightroom version. Now I know that many of you are using Adobe Camera Raw, so I'm going to launch a similar image into the Adobe Camera Raw interface and show you how we do the exact same thing there. Notice that there is, you can tell, uh, a front passing through here over Los Osos and Morro Bay. There's a lot of clouds, a lot of water vapor. The sky's not exactly how we want it. So inside of Adobe Camera Raw, we'd come right over to the HSL Grayscale tab, and we're going to do the exact same thing. We'll find saturation for the aquas and blues, and I'm going to make it in the medium range. Go 20 and 20, just to see what we've done. I always click that preview on and off, so we see a slight difference. To complete the effect, we'll go over to Luminance. I'm going to toss in a minus 20 on each of these. And we see there we have a nice insta-polarizing effect without having to use the polarizing filter. Now, Much like Lightroom, we can save this as a preset inside of Adobe Camera Raw. To do that, we'll just slide over to the, the Presets tab, save our settings, and for here, we'll just click from the drop down and hit HSL Adjustments, Save. It allows me to give it a name. So here's where I'll put in my Insta Polarizer again. And I'll call it a medium. Hit Save, and there it is available for us for any image in the future. So that's the quick Insta Polarizer trick. You're not going to get all the effects of a polarizer using after capture processing. There's a lot of other things we can do. But when you need just this one thing, this little trick works really, really nicely. Any questions, as always, hal at lightworkshops.com or give me a call, 805-528-7385. Thanks a lot. Have a good day.